Well, don't call them Mr. or Miss, call them doctor, because today nearly 200 medical students became doctors after they graduated from The Ohio State University. And that's where the College of Medicine held its first in-person graduation since the beginning of the pandemic. NBC 4's Dan Perlman joining us now live from campus. And Dan, pretty lucky students over there, excited students over there. And the school leaders say that this is the most diverse class to graduate from the medical school there in a long time. Yeah, you know, they say it is one of the most diverse classes to graduate here uh, over time. You know, it was just a couple of months ago that U.S. News and World Report ranked the College of Medicine here at Ohio State as one of the most diverse medical schools in the country. Today, a student and the dean telling me they hope to see things continue to diversify in the future. This is the day he worked for. This is all I've ever wanted. Dr. Corey Thompson. I'm having trouble putting it into words. Thompson walked across the Oval to the Mershon Auditorium, where Ohio State officials say he was one of the 199 students to graduate from the College of Medicine. It's a class Dr. Carol Bradford tells me is one of the most diverse to graduate from the college. 25% or one quarter of the students are from underrepresented um, backgrounds. This is a breakdown of the class. The university telling me 35 graduates are black or African American, 32 are Asian, 12 are of Hispanic, Latino or Spanish origin, two are American Indian or Alaskan Native, 105 are white, 13 are documented as other. I actually think we can lead the way in addressing health equity by training diverse learners to go out and be the future leaders of healthcare. Now Dr. Thompson had this to say about the diversity in the college. It absolutely factored into my admissions decision to come here. That as he told me his message to children and young adults from underrepresented groups is you can do it. It's hard, it is time consuming, and it is possible. All that matters is is that you have uh, you know the want and and the creative sort of intuition to make this field your own. And next up for Dr. Thompson is his residency. He told me he's going to be doing a year here in Columbus before heading out to the University of Colorado, Denver. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. Congratulations to Dr. Thompson and of course the other doctor graduating from The Ohio State University.